I have set myself the challenge of trying to edit a month's worth of reels and TikTok videos in just an hour today. Ranging from simple and easy b-roll videos to more complicated voiceovers and I'm going to be showing you how I repurpose my podcast content using the amazing software Riverside and make even more videos without spending hours and hours of my day. Okay. To begin, I'm gonna get started with the easiest reels first to create a little bit of momentum. So I have a folder on my phone labeled montages and B-roll. Then when it comes to a big editing session like this, I have all of the videos already saved in my phone. The next step for me is coming up with some nice pieces of text. It could be one simple statement, it could be a quote, it could be a listicle, it could be a couple of tips, anything that aligns with my content pillars and serves some kind of purpose or value to my audience. I think these types of reels are so underrated and you can really put together a whole bunch in just a 15 minute time slot. Often with these B-roll pieces, I will edit them straight into TikTok and reels to save time. So I'm gonna see how many I can get through, how many I can prep before I have to be logged in for that meeting. And I really wanted to illustrate this today because I do have a busy day and I wanna show how you can edit content and it doesn't have to take up a huge amount of your time. It's very low effort, but it can get some really really incredible results. Here's a few example reels that I've posted in this style in the past that have performed really well and got really high levels of engagement and it's so simple and easy. We have over eight videos edited in the bank, feeling very proud and now I'm going to tackle the next phase of my content batching and how I do this in a really productive way and that is repurposing. Whether it's taking a blog post and turning it into an Instagram carousel, taking a YouTube video and editing that into a TikTok or taking snippets from a podcast interview. It could be your own podcast or could just be one that you've been a guest on. All of these are really great ways to get more out of your content without necessarily putting in hours and hours of work. And a software that really helps me do this is Riverside. Riverside is my longtime sponsor on the Dishing Up Digital podcast. And I'm really excited to use this video to show you a little bit more of how I use it to get social media content in literally two clicks. Okay, so welcome to my Riverside studio. This is where all of my podcast episodes are. And as you can tell, I've done some interviews with quite a few amazing people at the moment. We're doing like a little female founder series on the podcast and I really need to be taking advantage of those interviews so that I can like network and potentially get my podcast in front of the audience of the guests. So it's really important for me to get content from these interviews. You'll also see that I have some audio only episodes as well as an episode I recorded yesterday about a case study marketing strategy, which I'm super excited. I think this is gonna be a really popular piece of content with my audience, but of course, sometimes not everyone is gonna see that podcast episode, so I wanna make sure I'm driving traffic from my Instagram and TikTok over to the full episode. But I also think because it's such a juicy topic, it has potential to just perform really well on Instagram as well. So I love doubling down knowing that I'm getting content for my podcast and for my social media at the same time. Again, we're gonna ease our way into this thing and I'm gonna start by the easiest way to get clips from Riverside and that is their magic clips feature. So I click this button, I wait a couple of minutes and Riverside quote works its magic to pull together some bite-sized clips from the interview. I'm also gonna jump into another interview that will be going out on my podcast next week and get it generating some clips for that. You can also see that it does this for like your full episode, also for your show notes. Overall, it just makes my podcast production really easy, but I also love that I can repurpose these show notes and put them into email newsletters and pieces of content for my Instagram page as well. So here are all the clips Riverside has created with my interview with uh, Samantha, and I can kind of see the different topics here and have a skim through and see which one I think would be most interesting. Let's click on this one. So automatically Riverside generates captions and has it all cut together. For me, obviously my branding is not purple and green. If you couldn't tell from this video, it's definitely pink. <laughs> so first thing I do is jump into the captions and just choose the kind of style that I prefer. Let's go for, I tend to go between like these ones. Oops. This one I think is my favorite. And then I just change the color here to pink. The other thing I wanna change super quickly, and I just love how easy this is, I wanna have my guest on like the top 
of this, like uh, just the structure, I feel like it looks a little bit better and it makes them more the center of attention. I don't need to be the center of attention here. Um, I might actually make my captions like a little bit smaller. There we go. And then drag it into the center there. And then this is my favorite function. If I want to delete some of the sections uh, that Riverside has clipped together, if I think they're just not necessary or I want to add in some other elements, I just highlight the text here and then press delete and that will delete it. Is that not the easiest way to edit a video ever? So if I decide I don't actually like the soundbite that Riverside has automatically selected for me, I can just go in and delete that and skim through and add, find a section that I prefer. And I really like the fact that I can just read it instead of having to play the video. For me, I find it a lot more efficient. Now we just hit export, export video, and you can see it's exporting it in 1080p, which is perfect for uh, dimensions for Instagram Reels and TikTok. But I did, when I launched this interview series, I did this really cool mashup of all the different interviews that I was launching that month. And I'll play it off to the side here because I'm just like low-key proud of this video. And if you're curious how I edited it, I did the same thing highlighting sentences. And this time, because I wasn't going for one single soundbite, I was going for lots of short, quick ones. I literally went through and exported a whole clip from someone's interview, which had just back to back, like 10 second sound bites. And then I spliced that together just using the Canva editor and then added in those cool graphic slides that you can see that say female founder series. So I love that I can make really simple edits from interviews like I've just done here, but then I also have the option to utilize that video footage in different ways and turn it into something like a little bit more jazzy. Let's jump in and do another sound bite for Elise. We'll do the captions real quick. Should we do a slightly different caption or should I just be a creature of habit and just do the same? Boom, there's another piece of content done. I used the clip from Magic Clips that Riverside had automated for me and I just trimmed out my laughing. So two pieces of content really easily put together there. And now we're gonna tackle something a little bit different with this solo episode that I recorded yesterday. It's getting serious. The blazer has come off now. Just discovered in Riverside that I can add overlays there instead of exporting it and doing it in Canva. And tell me what you think of this video because I've had so much fun uh, adding all these like screenshots and overlays for this soundbite from my podcast about Odd Muse. And I just think it makes the video so much more fun and engaging. I added the screenshots from some of the news articles. And then I was like, what if I put like the founder of Odd Muse, Amy, and put her in there clear cut with a little crown on her head? <laughs> So it was surprisingly easy to do. And I think, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys can be my critics, but I think it looks pretty cute. And I'm really excited to see how that one performs on my socials. I'm always looking for interesting ways I can take what Riverside gives me and turn it into even more engaging content. So I love that the editor, they're just continuing to update it and add features like the overlays and you know different styles of captions so that you can really enhance your video and make it the best video possible. If you are interested in testing out Riverside yourself, I would highly recommend it. And I actually have a discount code for you. So you can enter the code dishing up digital and save on whichever plan that you choose to go for. There's the standard option, the probe option and the business option. So lots of really great options to grow with your business. So thank you again, Riverside for sponsoring today's video. Guys, we have done it. I have accomplished my mission. I have over a month's worth of content ready to go for Instagram, as well as all of those videos that can be used on TikTok as well. In terms of my challenge, I have kind of failed a little bit because I think we're probably clocked in at around two and a half hours of video editing time. And my goal was obviously to do it in an hour, but that was very ambitious. And I love that we were up for the challenge and I'm really happy with what we have in the end. I think I went a little bit further into the editing than I thought I would on some of my videos. And I have actually ended up with more than I need for the month of July. So pat on the back for that one. I spent around another half hour figuring out my schedule. So not only do I have the videos edited, I know when they're gonna be posted and I have that all organized in my content calendar. If you guys wanna see how I set up this content calendar and how I kind of use it and how it functions, definitely check out this previous video 
that I filmed all about that. We've got a really nice variety of B-roll pieces of content, repurposed bits from my podcast, voiceover videos, and everything is all aligned with my content strategy and my content pillar. I've really been enjoying these last two videos documenting my content creation process, so let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more videos like this. And while you're there, don't forget to check out the description box where you'll find my discount for Riverside plus a link to sign up. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!